possesses the sacred gem shall prepare himself to receive the power of the Crimson Bands of... Today, we're about to unravel the force behind one of the most formidable and talked about characters in the X-Men universe, Juggernaut. Brace yourselves for an epic journey as we explore the depths of his insanity-inducing powers and uncover the captivating story of how he acquired them. This video is a thrilling quest that leads us straight to the mystical gem of Sidorak. We will delve into every intricate detail, bringing you the untold story behind this unstoppable force. So, grab your popcorn, settle in, and let's unravel the mysteries of the Crimson Gem of Sidorak together in this enthralling video. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. What is the Crimson Gem of Sidorak? Exploring its entire story arc, most Marvel fans are aware of the existence of the Crimson Gem of Sidorak. However, do you know the history behind the gem? Well, let us start from the beginning. Sit tight as we take you all the way back in time. Eight powerful magical beings by the names of Balthak, Ragador, Farala, Sidorak, Valtor, Icon, Kraken, and Watum assembled as the Octessens over a thousand years ago. They subsequently got into a fight over who was the most powerful and thus decided to place a bet that became known as the famous Wager of Octessens. The bet entailed that all of these eight creatures were to create a totem that contained a small portion of its creator's tremendous powers. They would then release these totems on Earth, and the first person to touch any of these artifacts would become an exemplar, the physical manifestation of that power. All of these powerful mystical beings employed other people to construct the temples which they used to house their totems on Earth. In Sidorak's instance, he conned a group of monks into constructing his temple in a region that, in the modern day, can be found on the Korean peninsula. The wager was initiated by casting a spell that, once one of the totems was touched, it would bring additional seven people to the other seven places. Each person would inherit the power of each of the artifacts, and then, in a large-scale gladiator-style combat, each exemplar would lead an eighth of the populace into battle, and all eight factions would fight to the death, with the last standing one being the winner. However, Centuries passed, and most of Sidorak's temples lay untouched, succumbing to nature's forces. But the temple in Korea remained preserved. Yao the Ancient One, during his travels, entered the temple out of curiosity, but he did not touch the gem of Sidorak. He encountered Zorak, the temple's guardian, however, whom he defeated and banished into the gem's crimson cosmos. In another century, heretic monks attempted to harness Sidorak's power, but only unleashed a destructive entity. Two rival magicians, Gomor the Impetuous, and Tar, the initiate of the Ebon Vein, joined forces to imprison the entity within the Gem of Sidorak, giving it a dual nature. They then placed the gem back in the temple, sealing its entrance under a mountain of rocks to prevent anyone from accessing its immense power. Later, during their time in Korea, Cain Marco and Charles Xavier stumbled upon a ruined temple. Cain, filled with resentment for his brother, ignored Xavier's warnings and picked up the Gem of Sidorak, transforming into the unstoppable juggernaut. The temple collapsed, burying Cain, but he eventually dug himself out over the years, leaving the gem behind. Post this, Charles Xavier attempted to remove Juggernaut's powers, but an energy feedback left him comatose. The X-Men then sought Doctor Strange's help and learned that they needed the prototype gem to heal him. Cyclops and Marvel Girl journeyed to Korea, cleared the cave entrance, and entered the temple. With Doctor Strange's incantation, they entered the Crimson Cosmos and retrieved the prototype gem. The X-Men used it to cure Xavier and defeat Juggernaut. However, Seeing a similar gem, Juggernaut touched it and was sucked into the Crimson Cosmos alongside the prototype gem. Nonetheless, he did make it back after various attempts. Then, after forming a partnership with Black Tom Cassidy, Juggernaut retrieved the gem of Sidorak from Korea as a unique birthday present for Cassidy. When Black Tom touched the gem, he transformed into another Juggernaut, but with only half the original's powers. They briefly battled, but Spider-Man and the X-Men intervened. Rogue absorbed Cassidy's Juggernaut powers, and Kane Marco regained the full set when he touched the gem again. Concerned about the gem's power, Juggernaut decided to hurl it into space to keep it away from anyone else. However, fate intervened when the gem was accidentally sent back to Earth's orbit by Nova. A boy named Stevie found it but didn't transform like Kane did. Instead, Stevie discovered he could utilize the gem's powers in incredible ways, including controlling wax statues and releasing powerful force blasts. The reason for Black Tom's transformation remained unclear. But one theory suggested that the gem was never meant to transform more than one human. 
and Kane's willingness to share his power with Cassidy may have caused the change. Stevie's fate remained unknown, but Kane Marco encountered him again and reclaimed his power source, which infused with his body. The Gem of Sidorak further resurfaced when Onslaught, a near-omnipotent entity, captured Kane Marco and effortlessly ripped the gem from his chest. Marco was shocked that anyone on Earth could do this. Onslaught imprisoned Marco within the gem, in the Crimson Cosmos, while masquerading as Professor Xavier, using the gem as a paperweight. Later, Stephen Strange sensed the abandoned gem and discovered Kane trapped inside. With the help of Gomer and Tar, Kane was empowered to defeat Sidorak, and they all returned to Earth. The gem once again bonded to the Juggernaut. Months later, charlatans tricked Kane with a fake gem resembling the gem of Sidorak. They drained his powers, leaving him severely weakened and on the brink of death. The X-Men intervened, retrieving the fake gem and giving it to Black Tom to save Kane's life. Over a decade after Kane became the Juggernaut, the Wager of the Octessence was triggered when each of the eight magical entities found their representatives among unsuspecting humans. They met at the North Pole to build a god machine, intending to enslave humanity. However, Juggernaut's strong will allowed him to resist the entity he represented, enabling him to thwart the ceremony of the Octessence. The other exemplars sought to punish Juggernaut for this, but the Avengers intervened. Despite being initially outmatched, the heroes managed to reach some of the new villains, leading the exemplars to abandon their plan and depart, bringing the lore of the Gem of Sidorak to a close, at least for the time being. Who is Sidorak, a god or a demon? Sidorak is a powerful mystical entity, and his origins are shrouded in mystery. He is known as one of the Octessens, a group of immensely powerful beings with godlike abilities who have existed for eons. Sidorak's realm, known as the Crimson Cosmos, is the source of his immense magical power. Personality-wise, Sidorak is often depicted as an ancient and malevolent force. He is primarily interested in spreading chaos and destruction, reveling in the exercise of his immense power. As a being of near-omnipotent capabilities, he is indifferent to the consequences of his actions in the mortal realm. Sidorak is rarely concerned with the affairs of mere mortals unless they directly serve his purposes or seek to harness his power. He's more of an ancient troublemaker, loving chaos and destruction. Further, we already know that he is the one responsible for creating the Gem of Sidorak, so it is not surprising that he has been worshipped by men over the ages. However, whether he is a god or demon has been up for debate when it comes to those who worship him. It is important to note that Sidorak is not a traditional deity in the sense of gods worshipped in various religious systems. He is more accurately described as a mystical being or cosmic entity, existing on a plane of existence beyond human comprehension. He represents the forces of chaos and destruction and is more akin to a primordial force of nature than a benevolent or malevolent deity. In a nutshell, he is not afraid to mess things up for everyone in the Marvel Universe. Sidorak's actions and motives often align more with those of a malevolent being or demon, as he seems to delight in causing havoc and empowering individuals with destructive tendencies. However, it's essential to note that within the Marvel Universe, the line between gods and demons can be blurred as many characters possess godlike powers without fitting into conventional religious definitions. How did Juggernaut get his powers from this gem? The story of Kane Marco obtaining his powers from the Gem of Sidorak is a fascinating and iconic tale in Marvel Comics history. It can all be traced to a tale of sibling rivalry. Kane Marco, the stepbrother of Charles Xavier, the widely known Professor X, was always overshadowed by Xavier's brilliance and powers. As a young boy, Kane's resentment towards his stepbrother grew and he became increasingly aggressive and angry. Years later, during the Korean War, Kane Marco found himself stationed near the ancient Temple of Sidorak while serving in the military. Seeking refuge from pursuing enemies, he stumbled upon the temple's hidden chamber, where the infamous Crimson Gem of Sidorak lay. Inside the chamber, Kane discovered the immense mystical power emanating from the gem. Drawn by its allure, he picked it up, unwittingly activating its enchantments. At that moment, the Crimson Gem of Sidorak chose Kane as its new avatar granting him phenomenal powers that would forever change his destiny. As soon as Cain touched the gem, he felt an overwhelming surge of energy coursing through his body. The gem's mystical power enveloped him, transforming him into an unstoppable force. Suddenly, he was no longer just Cain Marco. He had become the Juggernaut, an avatar of Sidorak himself. The transformation granted Cain superhuman strength, making him capable of lifting and moving incredibly heavy objects with ease. His newfound power also bestowed upon him an unparalleled level of durability, rendering him virtually invulnerable to most forms of physical and energy-based attacks. But perhaps the most incredible ability granted by the gym was his unstoppable momentum. Once he started moving in a particular direction, nothing could stand in his way. Embracing his newfound power, the Juggernaut set out to wreak havoc and destruction, 
Embodying the very essence of Sidorak's chaotic nature, throughout the years, he clashed with numerous heroes, particularly the X-Men, becoming one of the most persistent adversaries. However, despite his immense power, the Juggernaut's relationship with the Gem of Sidorak was not without its struggles. At times, he found himself losing control of the Gem's influence, leading to devastating consequences. Additionally, his reliance on the Gem made him vulnerable to anyone who could find a way to separate him from it. The story of Kane Marco and the Gem of Sidorak remains one of Marvel's most iconic tales of power, redemption, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. In fact, the character of Juggernaut, also known as Kane Marco, was created by writer Stan Lee and artist and co-plotter Jack Kirby. Juggernaut made his first appearance in X-Men No. 12, published in July 1965. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were the creative visionaries behind many iconic Marvel characters, and they saw the potential for a powerful and imposing villain to challenge the X-Men. The idea of Juggernaut originated from Stan Lee's desire to create a formidable adversary capable of matching the strength and power of the X-Men's leader, Professor X. The character's concept revolved around the idea of an unstoppable force, a force of nature, which eventually led to the association with the mystical entity Sidorak. With this vision in mind, Jack Kirby designed the character's distinctive appearance, emphasizing his massive size and physical strength. Juggernaut's signature costume, helmet, and muscular physique became iconic elements that have endured over the years. The decision to link Juggernaut's powers to the mystical gem of Sidorak added an extra layer of intrigue and supernatural mystique to the character making him more than just a straightforward physical threat. The Gem's connection gave Juggernaut a unique and fascinating origin, tying him to the larger Marvel Universe and its mystical elements. A quick history of those who have wielded the powers of Sidorak. Considering that this powerful gem has been on Earth for centuries, it is definitely not a surprise that some people have chanced on it before Kane Marco or Juggernaut. The first human ever to wield the powers of the Gem of Sidorak was an unnamed Korean man. He touched the gem and was immediately transformed into Juggernaut becoming Sidorak's earthly agent. He then went on to destroy his own village completely and brutally. An honorable mention goes to a man named Jin Taiko, who almost became Juggernaut. How, you ask? Well, when the adjacent hamlet started to practice its worship elsewhere, it angered Sidorak. Thus, in his rage, he grabbed one of the locals, Jin Taiko, and bestowed upon him the Juggernaut's powers. He instructed him to kill everyone nearby and destroy the community. Taiko, however, declined and thus never became the Juggernaut. In chronological order, next is Kane Marco, or the iconic Juggernaut, but we have already spoken about him at length. Another interesting character who has had the privilege to wield the power of the Gem of Sidorak is none other than Colossus. Colossus momentarily assumed the Juggernaut's authority and his function as Sidorak's avatar when Marco fell out of favor with Sidorak. In Fear Itself No. 2, which was released in 2010 and was written and drawn by Matt Fraction and Stuart Eminen, Marco became the host of Kurth, the Breaker of Stone, and a servant of the Asgardian Serpent, after holding an enchanted hammer. In Uncanny X-Men No. 542 by Kieran Gillen and Greg Land, Sidorak took Marco's juggernaut powers away and transferred them to Peter Rasputin, after being alerted to the situation by Colossus and his sister Magic. During Colossus's period of power, fans saw him struggle to lessen Sidorak's insidious demonic influence despite his otherwise kind nature, and reveled in the juggernaut's power. Colossus remained with Cyclops' military extinction team, when the X-Men split into two competing factions soon after this, because he did not want his strength to jeopardize the pupils at Wolverine's Jean Grey School for higher learning. Further, Colossus joined forces with many other X-Men and a chunk of the Phoenix Force, while he was the Juggernaut. In Uncanny X-Men No. 15, which was released in 2011, written and drawn by Gillen and Daniel Akua, Colossus addressed the evil deity in an effort to free himself from Sidorak's control and revealed that he had transformed into the Phoenix's avatar. Unexpectedly, Sidorak informed Colossus that given the amount of carnage the hero had brought about, he had no problem with him using the Juggernaut and Phoenix power simultaneously. The X-Man attempted to use his Phoenix power to assault Sidorak after hearing him refer to Colossus as his favorite avatar, but was quickly disregarded and sent back to Earth by the deity of Chaos. Later. Spider-Man lured Colossus and Magic into a fight, where they ultimately knocked the Phoenix Force out of one another. Ilyana's admission that she had given Sidorak the power to strengthen Colossus in order to help him comprehend what it was like to be cursed caused long-simmering hostilities between Colossus and Magic to explode, putting a permanent kink in the relationship. However, in Uncanny X-Men No. 20 by Gillen and Carlos Pacheco, she finally sent Colossus to Limbo and broke his bond with Sidorak. 
Kane Marco took on the mantle once again post this, but there is one last interesting character who is connected to the Gem of Sidorak. You would never guess it. It is the White Queen, Emma Frost. In fact, in the distant future of Sins of Sinister, things get pretty wild. We see Frost wielding the god's power like it's her new favorite accessory. In this wacky timeline, you've got Emma Frost, Professor X, Hope Summers, and Exodus all falling under the influence of the mischievous Mr. Sinister. Sinister goes all out and attacks Krakoa's mutant leaders, and he's not playing nice. He manages to resurrect them, but with a twist. He inserts a hefty dose of his own personality into them. Talk about meddling with mutants, but wait, it gets even crazier. Sinister somehow manipulates the Sinister Quiet Council, replacing most of the mutants with his loyal agents. He's like a master puppeteer, pulling all the strings and conquering the world. And guess what? He even convinces the Juggernaut to become the cosmic equivalent of a bullet and take down Thanos. Now that's one crazy team-up. Of course, Sinister eventually shifts his focus to time travel shenanigans. But while he's busy with that, the Sinister Quiet Council is building their own cosmic empire. Fast forward a millennium and the once united sinister corrupted mutant leaders are now feuding like a bunch of kids fighting over candy. Each of them has their own little slice of space, ruling like emperor. And guess who's now the empress of the red diamond? You got it, it's our girl Emma Frost. Looking all ageless and ruby red thanks to Sidorak's power, the living gem of Sidorak. Sins of Sinister is a must read if this is something you are into. Other people who have wielded the power of the gem of Sidorak include Black Tom Cassidy and a young boy called Stevie, but these have been for incredibly short periods of time and they never got to access the complete power of Sidorak. What makes the Crimson Gem of Sidorak so powerful? The biggest power held within the Gem of Sidorak is that anyone who comes into contact with the gem becomes Sidorak's exemplar, the Juggernaut, an almost unstoppable being. As a result of its immense energies, the artifact thus is able to grant the Juggernaut certain incredible abilities that include superhuman strength, endurance, and even invulnerability. Unstoppable momentum, starting with one of the gym's most iconic ability, its capability to grant unstoppable momentum to its chosen avatar. When someone becomes the juggernaut by touching the gym, they gain the ability to move in a single direction without any force able to halt their progress. The juggernaut can crash through walls, resist any attempts to restrain or halt its movements, and exhibit nearly limitless physical force, superhuman strength and durability. Further, the gym endows its host with superhuman physical strength and durability. As the juggernaut, the bearer becomes immensely strong, capable of lifting and overpowering even the most massive objects. Their physical resilience becomes nearly impenetrable, making them resistant to most conventional forms of damage. Invulnerability It is no surprise that the Juggernaut's enhanced durability borders on invincibility, granting protection against most physical and energy-based attacks. Bullets, lasers, and even some of the most powerful blows from other superhuman beings have little effect on the Juggernaut. Enhanced Endurance the gem also enhances the bearer's stamina and endurance, allowing them to exert themselves for extended periods without fatigue or exhaustion. Resistant to psychic manipulation, the juggernaut's mind is shielded from most forms of psychic intrusion and manipulation due to the gem's mystical influence. Becoming the Avatar of Sidorak The individual who wields the gem of Sidorak becomes the living avatar of Sidorak, essentially making them an extension of the ancient mystical entity's will and purpose. This connection grants them access to a portion of Sidorak's vast power, making them one of the most formidable forces in the Marvel Universe. Near Immortality Last but not least, the gym grants its host an exceptionally prolonged lifespan, making them virtually ageless as long as they remain connected to Sidorak's power. However, the gym's immense power comes with significant drawbacks. The Juggernaut's unstoppable momentum is not always under their complete control, and they can inadvertently cause massive destruction. Additionally, the Gem of Sidorak's power is not easily wielded by just anyone. It seeks out individuals who possess the potential for chaos and destruction, as seen with the selection of Kane Marco and other avatars. Is there another Gem of Sidorak? There are at least a minimum of three Gems of Sidorak, maybe even four. Confused? Well, this is what the deal is. Like many other things in Marvel Comics, the history of this particular Gem is convoluted. A prototype Gem, which was present inside the actual Crimson Gem, existed back in the first two issues of the X-Men comic book series, in 1992's Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme No. 44, Inside the Crimson Cosmos, another supplemental gem, or perhaps the same one, appeared. Albeit it ultimately ended up back there, this is evident that even though this one is one of Marvel's lesser-known stones, it still has an extraordinary complicated past. However, those two are not all. At the conclusion of X-Men Black, Juggernaut, Juggy, had defeated his master, Sidorak, in a psychic conflict, with his strength restored, 
Juggy then set out to find the stones that would grant him the capabilities of the other members of Sidorak's group, the Octessens, so that he might also acquire their abilities. However, in Doctor Strange, Casey, the sociopathic former student of Doctor Strange, who had been passing himself off as him, discovered yet another gem of Sidorak. As a result of the gem's powers, he also became unstoppable, making this an incredibly interesting storyline for all those who are drawn by this big, bright, powerful ruby. The Gem of Sidorak remains an incredibly powerful object to this day. Do you think Kane Marco was the right person to wield the powers of Sidorak? Tell us in the comments section below.